Sierra Software Tutorials, Hotfix Era Plus, Object Types and Fill Styles. In this video we will learn about Bling Objects, the fill types that each of them supports and the tools to create them. Bling Objects are the building blocks of our designs. In fact, Creating a design basically consists of creating a sequence of objects. The geometry of these objects define the strokes of the design and their properties set the beads arrangement that Hotfix Era will generate for each of them. We have prepared some very simple designs to explore the objects and bead fill types available for each of them. Let's prepare a workspace layout that allows us to observe the details of our objects. Let's show objects, the blue lines here, and beads with solid colors. We also open the object manager. The simplest object type we have is manual beads. It consists in just a single bead. The tool to create this object just drops a bead in the place where we click. Using the edit tool we can select a single bead or a group of them to change the bead type, position or manipulate the group scale and rotation. Paths is another simple object, although not as simple as manual beads. We use these objects to create shapes based on lines with straight segments, curved segments or a combination of them. Paths can be opened or closed. The important thing is that the beads of a path object will always be arranged on the line. Let's see what fill types are available for path objects. The basic style of beads arrangement for paths is single bead with uniform fill. That is, the system will place beads along the path, keeping between them the spacing we defined. We can easily change the spacing using the Tool tab or the Object Inspector. Changes are applied immediately and reflected in all views. By default, the real spacing is adjusted a little so that the beads fit exactly along the entire path, but we can change this behavior using the Beads on control. Instead of spacing, we can define the number of beads we want to use for the object and let the system calculate the spacing. We can also define a variable spacing by selecting a spacing value at start and at end and allowing the system to smoothly vary the spacing between path ends. To change the bead type, we can use the tool tab, the object inspector or simply click the bead we want to use on the palette. If we select a bead with a different size, the system will recalculate the position so as to keep the spacing we defined. Let's select this curved path and explore how the bead's angle property works. To see the effect, we will need to add to our palette a non-symmetric bead. Open the palette editor, select nail head type and choose a rectangular bead, the smallest one, and this color. Press add and the new bead appears in the palette. With the object selected, we click on it and the system recalculates the object. By default, beads are placed at a fixed angle that we can define using angle property. But we can instruct the system to place the beads following the shape of the path, tangentially or perpendicularly. Beads rotation allows us to easily build great necklace to decorate our garments. However, we need to consider that not all the automatic hotfix setting machines are able to rotate the pieces. Beads Rotation is a feature included in Hotfix Era Plus and available as an optional feature in Hotfix Era Standard. Let's explore another important object type, Areas. We have two types of area objects in Hotfix Era Plus, Inner Areas and Outer Areas. Let's start with the first ones. Inner areas are objects defined by a closed contour and its main characteristic is that the system places the beads inside this contour. An inner area can have holes, that is, another closed contours that must be completely inside it. A hole instructs the system to not place any beads inside its contour. 
The simplest fill type for inner areas is the single bling uniform fill. This type of filling spreads the beads inside the contour as evenly as possible, without following a regular pattern of rows and columns. There are two variants, a radial layout, where the shape of the contour appears slightly in the arrangement of the beads and a hexagonal layout, where the arrangement of the beads is almost independent of the shape of the contour. We can control the spacing of the beads, or we can use a maximum bead count and we can set an internal margin to skip the beads close to the contour. If we change the bead type for one of a different size, the placement is recalculated to keep the spacing and margin we defined. Another simple fill type for inner areas is the flat fill. In this case, the system spreads the beads in a regular arrangement of rows and columns where we can control the spacing between them. As this is a completely regular placement, a property called tolerance allows us to control whether the beads that slightly exceeds the contour are included or not. Flat fill allows us to define a straight direction line to define the orientation of the columns and rows. Let's take a look at the inner ring fill. This fill type places the beads along rings towards the inside of the shape. How many rings are created and the distance between them is defined through patterns. There are some predefined patterns and we can create our own, defining the number of rings, the distance between them and the density, as a fraction of the main spacing value. We can use the repeat property to force the repetition of the ring pattern until the beads completely cover the area. In this fill type the spacing property controls the separation between beads of the same ring. For inner areas, we also have a fill type that allow us to control the direction of the bead arrangement. It is the flexible fill type. This fill type requires us to define a direction line, which can be straight or curved. Then, the system organizes the beads in rows that follow the defined direction line. We can control the space between rows and between the beads along the rows. Using a curved direction line we can get very nice effects, where beads seem to flow inside the shape. Also, we have a fill type that allow us to vary the spacing among beads gradually, the grading fill type. For this fill type we need to define a starting and ending spacing values. We can graphically adjust the position where the starting, ending and middle spacing values must be applied. We have two variants, linear and radial grading. In Hotfix Era Plus, most of the available fill types have a multi-bead variant, that is, the same fill types but using several bead instead of a single one. We can add the multi-bead feature to Hotfix Era Standard as an optional add-on. Depending on the fill type, the selected beads are used in different ways. For example, in the inner ring fill with multiple bead types, the pattern is built using a different bead for each defined ring. And in the flat fill type, a different bead is used for each consecutive row. A powerful and easy to use fill type called texture fill is also available for inner areas. Textures are large pre-built patterns of beads that we can use to fill our area objects. We choose the texture from the library and Hotfix Era applies the pattern, cropping it to the contour of the area. We can adjust the scale of the texture. As the texture is quite large and many of the are non-repetitive, we can also adjust the position of the texture, so as to use a different part of it for our object. Textures allow us to create great designs with just a very few clicks. There is a large textures library with geometric, artistics and also true random bead patterns we can use to create impressive effects. Columns is another type of object available in Hotfix Era Plus. The contour of the column objects is created by inserting the nodes in pairs, side by side. The lines connecting the nodes on opposite sides define directions that the system will use to orient rays of beads. We can control the spacing between rays, 
or we can define how many rays we want to use, and we can adjust the spacing between beads within the rays. This object type allows a random effect that applies to length of the rays at one side of the object or at both sides. Multi-bead is also available for column objects. In this case, the bead pattern is applies to each ray. Hotfix Era Plus includes an spatial object type called Outer Areas. For this object type, the beads are placed outside the defined area main contour and inside the defined holes. Three fill types are available for outer areas, spectacular fill, outer ring fill with single bead and outer ring fill with multi-bead. In outer areas with spectacular fill we define the contour of the area and select an external shape. Hotfix era will place beads in the region defined by the contour of our area object and the external shape we selected. We can modify the size and aspect of the external shape and define the bead spacing variation values. For outer areas with outer ring fill type, Hotfix Era arranges the beads in concentric rings with shapes that follow the contour of our area object. How many rings are created and the distance between them is defined through patterns, following the same schema than in inner areas with inner ring fill. We can use patterns with a single bead or with multiple beads. Text Objects Hotfix Era allows us to create texts using a large and extensible library of pre-digitized fonts or using most of the true type fonts installed on our computer. However, regardless of the origin of our text objects, Hotfix Era allows us to manipulate them almost identically. We can scale and rotate the entire text, adjust the letter spacing, the position of each letter horizontally or vertically, and even scale individual letters. Using the tool tabs or the object inspector we can change the fill type and its properties. Most true type fonts are built with areas, no matter how thin are their strokes. Just a few fonts with thin strokes are built with lines. To help us to create text with this fonts, text objects allow a special fill type called Single Bling Center Path that organize the beads along internal paths calculated according to the area shape. As always, in the online manual, within the Bling Digitizing chapter, Objects Types and Bling Fill Styles section, we will find more details about the topics we saw in this video. Thank you for watching.